cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic. People, this the intro. Talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to get all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you also follow me on all my social media platforms to stay connected with all Keek on the Mic news. So, Bears fans, Chicago Bears were back on the practice field at, at Hallis Hall today for a fully padded practice. And the good news of this practice is that linebacker Tremaine Edmonds has returned in full pads for the Chicago Bears. He is now in a ramp up period. This is his first practice since August 4th. Um, so that is obviously really good news for the Chicago Bears and the Chicago Bears defense. Um, so looking forward to see him um, continue to ramp up and get more involved with the Chicago Bears football team. But in other news, and obviously the news that Bears fans want to know, is the state of the Chicago Bears offensive line. As we know now, Tevin Jenkins is dealing with two calf injuries that's going to keep him out. Uh, Matt Eberflus said it's a week by week basis for guard Tevin Jenkins. So right now, here is the state of the Chicago Bears offensive line and Bears fans. There is a whole lot of shuffling going on in terms of the Chicago Bears offensive line right now. Braxton Jones is healthy at that left tackle spot. Tevin Jenkins is obviously week to week with those calf injuries. Cody Whitehair is also dealing with the injury as well um, with his right hand. He will be moved to left guard with Tevin Jenkins out. Lucas Patrick is still ramping up from his injury. Um, he was limited in practice today, and he will be playing center for the Chicago Bears. Um, Nate Davis also missed a couple of weeks with his injuries, but he is back and ramping up for the Chicago Bears offensive, offensive line. He will be playing the right guard position. And Darnell Wright will be playing the right tackle position, but I guess he limped off the field with an ankle issue at the end of the day's practice at Hallis Hall. Um, so now he is dealing with the injury as well. Um, so right now, Bears fans, there's a whole lot of shuffling to the offensive line, but there's a whole lot of injuries to the offensive line as well. Um, but as a Bears fan, I just want to reassure you guys that we shouldn't panic just yet. The Chicago Bears still have three full weeks until the week one matchup against the Green Bay Packers. Um, so these players have a whole bunch of time um, to deal with the injuries and to ensure that they are ready to go for that week one matchup against the Green Bay Packers. Um, but it is unfortunate um, that this offensive line is dealing with so many injuries um, right before the season starts. Um, this is obviously not good for a person like Justin Fields. We thought that Justin Fields was going to have a strong starting five, um, obviously with Tevin Jenkins in the fold. Um, that's obviously not the case at this point. Um, and now the Chicago Bears have to deal with all these injuries, and now we have to shuffle the offensive line around, hopefully that we can get the best five out there for the Chicago Bears offense and quarterback Justin Fields. Head coach Matt Eberflux did mention that moving Cody Whitehair back to left guard and moving Lucas Patrick to the center position um, was the best scenario for the Chicago Bears offensive line. It was the best combination for the Chicago Bears offensive line um, because Lucas Patrick does have experience at the center position and obviously Cody Whitehair does have extensive experience playing that left guard position as well. Do I think it's the best combination out there? Um, possibly not, but I think with the players that we have, the personnel that we have right now um, in terms of offensive alignment on the roster, I think that's probably the best combination that they can come up with. So we're going to see how it works out. Um, obviously, when you look at a guy like the Terry Carter, he is now going to be backing up the right guard position for Nate Davis, and then Alex Leather will be, will be backing up Cody Whitehair at that left guard spot as well. I was really hoping that Carter would get an opportunity to maybe start for the Chicago Bears offensive line at that left guard position, but I understand that Cody Whitehair does have an um, extensive experience playing the left guard spot. He wasn't the best at that spot um, last year especially, um, but at, at this point, I think this is the best combination with three weeks left to go until we play the Green Bay Packers at home to open up the season. Um, so I think this offensive line will continue to shuffle, but I, I think at the moment, Matt Eberflus and the Chicago Bears coaching staff feel the most confident with these five um, blocking for Justin Fields. That means Braxton Jones at left tackle, uh, Cody Whitehair at left guard, Lucas Patrick at center, Nate Davis at right guard, and obviously Darno Wright at right tackle. Um, hopefully everything works out and hopefully these injuries can get resolved on this offensive, offensive line leading up 
to the week one matchup against the Green Bay Packers. And I will continue to keep you updated on all these office line injuries um, as they come. Um, but as always, Bears fans, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, back for all new Bears podcasts right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys. And bear down. You've been listening to Keek on the Mic. A podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Thanks, guys, and bear down.